A new look at the hover sale. Where is Fast Flyers for console and the PS5 enhancement? And a very successful Star Wars saga. You're right kids, it's Ras Clark and welcome to your regular art community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So we got a new look at the tech hover sale. Something I covered way back last year after it was revealed in the Extra Life stream. Whereby we are being given a new vehicle in Ark. There's not many of them, but this is soon to join the roster. As the subtext says, there's no better feeling than skimming the skies to find the perfect tailwind to surf. Reach your destination in style while landing flashy tricks to improve your speed. Because that's right, you are going to be able to do tricks on this thing, not unlike a skateboard. From what the devs revealed in the Extra Live stream last year, this is going to have the ability to house two people, one of course riding it, and the other will be able to shoot from it, meaning this could be a fantastic use in PvP. Being a hover sale, we first assumed this was going to be quite low on the floor, but in this picture it looks like we're pretty high up off the ground, with it seemingly operating something like a skiff. You're going to want to perform these tricks as apparently they're going to give you boosts whenever you perform one. And this thing, like the canoe, will be able to be picked up and redeployed whenever you choose. Saving of course server performance with less of them out there in the wild, and of course you're not requiring to build this over and over again. One thing to note, it's called a tech hover sale, which is interesting as the devs have gone on record to say that they want Federation to be a new tier of sorts. I covered this in a previous video, go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. But this one is certainly called a tech hover sale, so it's going to fall under that tech category. Federation, of course, being this other tier. And we can see two budding players wearing the new Federation armor. But the big news surrounding this is that there is a griffin in the picture which is a big thing for Ark, whilst the Griffin, in my opinion, is one of the most integral flyers in Ark, possessing so many unique abilities. It's only ever been available in mod maps, starting out, of course, in Ragnarok, and then was delivered with its own trench in Crystal Isles. But this means if they do spawn on Genesis Part 2, this will be the first official map that they will appear on, which certainly alludes to what other originally mod creatures out there might be spawning on Genesis Part 2. Looking at predominantly two creatures, the Danonicus and the Tropio. If we are going to see Griffins in Genesis Part 2, are we going to see those two creatures as well? But nevertheless, I am excited to see Griffins in Genesis Part 2. It's one of my favourite creatures, so I'm happy to see it included in this map. Is it going to be a unique biome variant? Possibly not. It doesn't look much different from the Griffins we've tamed before. But what's interesting is where it's sitting. That looks like quite a high mountainous peak which in some ways confirms we are going to get giant scalable mountains in Ark Genesis Part 2. And with somewhat an anticipated map that's gone on record to be the largest map wildcard I've ever made. This is going to be something special and I can't wait to see and understand more of the biomes and how the map works. And I'm hoping that's going to be teased as we near the release date May the 26th. So, fast flyers for console and the PS5 enhancement. I covered these way back. The PS5 enhancement upgrade was confirmed shortly after the Xbox enhancement upgrade. I did a video way back on November the 24th, where Jat, the senior product manager, detailed on Reddit that they was targeting the patch to come in December of last year. Fast Flyers I covered way back on January the 16th, where it came to PC, but there was a radio silence on where it was for console. But then, the devs came out to say on March the 12th that it was coming with the next major version update for console. By major version, that's a patch that's console side as well as server side. And that's it, there was nothing after that. No news on Fast Flyers, no news on the PS5 enhancement update. The devs have gone incredibly quiet about the whereabouts of these updates. However, it was mentioned a few months back that some of the team that were working on that PS5 enhancement had been pulled out to ensure the completion of the Genesis 2 map. So behind the scenes, I've been pestering the devs day in, day out to get an answer on what's going on. Now, unfortunately, the team can't provide a statement to tell us what's going on and where these patches are. Trust me, I have tried to get an answer. But what I do know, it's been hinted at by the devs that we won't see either of these prior to Genesis Part 2 dropping. And from what I understand, we aren't going to see this with the Genesis Part 2 patch. 
The devs are fixated on ensuring they meet this May the 26th deadline date. And with so many new unique offerings to the ARC meta, I'm not surprised that they're pulling all of their resources into ensuring this is the best last map that's going to come to ARC Survival Evolved. So where does this leave the PS5 enhancement upgrade and the fast flyers? It's going to be post Genesis Part 2, mark my words. And even then, we're going to expect the dev team to be prepared in the coming weeks following Genesis Part 2 to be patching any bugs, meaning you are going to see these until weeks after Genesis Part 2 drops. My estimate would be that we're going to hear some news roughly about one month after the map has dropped. As I said, the devs can't issue a statement surrounding this. And of course, I don't work for Wildcard, but this is just me doing my research and understanding from picking apart things that have been said. You aren't going to see these until at least one month after Genesis Part 2 drops. Fingers crossed it sooner, but I just wanted to set some expectations for the many of you that ask me almost every day where these are. And lastly, the Star Wars event I detailed in my last news video. Ran by the very prestige team of elite builders called The Architects, came together to create one of the most unique events I have ever seen. Organised through a website, this went far and beyond any other event I've seen from any other server. Starting off spawning you in an epic R2-D2 built by Captain Fat Dog, a wonderfully crafted Ebon Hawk by Aaron Longstaff, an Imperial Outpost and at, at made by KL, pod racing arenas with markets and buildings and town decor supported by Deuce de Bomb, a full-on Millennium Falcon made by Third Echelon, even Jabba's Palace made by Radiant Wolf. With so many more people behind the scenes running this to make this one of the most epic events out there, of course headed up by Fire Pumpkin. I'll leave a link to the official Architects Twitter account. As this is not it, they are going to be doing more events in the future. They did some fantastic ones last year and they seem to be already focused on getting one out over the summer and I can't wait to see and hear more details about what this is going to be. Thanks all for tuning in. What do you think of the hover sail? What do you think of Griffins on Genesis Part 2? It's a big one for me. I hope it's a big one for you. The countdown is ticking May the 26th. It's coming. Make sure to subscribe because as we are getting closer and closer, I am going to be revealing everything that is dropping as we reach the big day of the last official map of Ark Survival Evolved. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always... Peace out.